The dirty secret is that everyone feeds off American abandon. A sharp drop in America's imports or in the value of the US dollar can spell doom for more than one country in more than a couple of industries. The United States being the global economy's engine and sink of last resort, absorbing one quarter of world trade. Other countries have an interest to maintain and encourage American extravagance and profligacy. Countries with large exports to the United States are likely to react with tariffs, quotas and competitive devaluation to any change in the status quo. The IMF couches the awareness of growing global addiction in its usual cautious terms. It says, the possibility of an abrupt and disruptive adjustment in the US dollar remains a concern for both the United States and the rest of the world. The question is not whether the United States deficit will be sustained at present levels forever, it will not, but more when and how the eventual adjustment takes place. While this would likely be manageable in the short term, it could adversely affect the sustainability of recovery later on. Another embarrassing truth is that a strong recovery in Europe or Japan may deplete the pool of foreign capital available to the United States. German and Japanese investors may prefer to plow their money into a re-emerging Germany or a reawakening Japan instead of a profligate United States. This is especially true if the dollar were to plunge. America requires more than $1 billion a day to maintain its current levels of government spending, consumption and investment. There is another, much hushed, aspect of American indebtedness. It provides other trading blocks and countries, for example Japan and the oil producing countries, with geopolitical leverage over the United States and its policies. America, forced to dedicate a growing share of its national income to debt repayment, is, grow is in growing hawk to its large creditors, including the resurgent China.